My name is Lord Victor Adibuali. I'm the Chief Executive of Turning Point Health and Social Care. Well, there's a number of things that um, we could do differently. I think one of the things that we need to do differently is be very clear with government about, about the need for long-term support for the most disadvantaged. I think we do need to introduce some elements of distance travelled. The fact of the matter is, it's not a straight line between engagement and work and somebody needs to pay for the amount of time and the amount of intervention it takes to get the most disadvantaged to work. It's money well spent, because if you don't spend that money, they'll stay where they are. So um, I think we need more to think more imaginatively about how we incentivise long, medium-term and long-term work for the most disadvantaged. I think the other thing that we need to do is think about the relationship between the not-for-dividend and the for-dividend sectors in the employment sector. I think that there's been some exploitation is probably too strong a word but I think there's been a lack of collaboration in the interests of the client and I think we need to, we need a better relationship because actually no one's going to make money out of this unless we do and, and no one's going to produce the outcomes for the public unless we do. I mean on the on the present um, statistics one would have to conclude not a lot um, it's, er, it's, it's, it's early days um, I would say you know what has been working is the engagement of some of those interventions like CBT um, like the sort of um, psychological interventions that Turning Point supplied there is evidence that you know and we have case studies of people who were a long way from employment who we've moved towards employment but can't work with any further because frankly there's not enough investment in that in that work and there's not enough understanding of what it takes so I think that the, the, there are interventions that work CBT cognitive behavioral therapy mental health interventions uh, and, and psychosocial interventions that can work with the most disadvantaged and the most challenging but they require uh, an understanding of, 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 of the long term and moving people towards employment is as important as getting them the job in the end well I think money you know, um, in case you know, uh, we're in a recession, 88% um, of, of government cutbacks are still to be made. So anybody who thinks we've reached a plateau and it's going to be uphill, you know, the, the, we've reached the sunlit uplands is up for a hell of a shock. Um, I think public sector cuts aren't just affecting employment practice, employment services, they're affecting everything. So uh, because we're not looking at these, in my view, we're not looking at the cuts in the round, we're not looking at whether it saves money, um, really saves money to cut adult social care for instance uh, whether it just shifts the, the spend somewhere else there's a real danger that we, what we build the perfect storm while populating the, an underclass as we go along so I think the big challenge for next year is how do we get better commissioning into the system how do we get commissioning which really understands the needs of individuals and their communities and isn't just a transactional um, point how do we get better collaboration between for dividend and not for dividend services how do we get distance tra travelled built into the contractual relationship with government